the brutal truths to RV living are real. And most start their RV channel after they get their RV. But how did they get there? How did we get here? There are so many things we did not anticipate and we did not think about when we moved off of our sailboat and back onto land life to get transitioned into our RV. We explored the oceans and the seas, but we decided it was time for us to get back on land. A new kind of freedom. We were not gonna get rid of that freedom of the vagabond lifestyle. We were just gonna take it on land. So there's a twist. We still need to sell our sailboat and buy an RV. We need a hermit crab shell, a turtle shell, a snail shell. So while we don't have our perfect RV just yet, there are some very harsh realities we are running into being the couch surfing RV life planners and what we are right now. Come along with us and we'll dive into some of these questions. Make sure you help us out with the algorithm. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. If you're new here, we'll catch you up a little bit. Katie and I just sailed a third of the way around the world on our catamaran sailboat. We got to sail through... Water. We got to sail through water. <laughs> we got to sail through the Mediterranean and making our Atlantic crossing for the first time. Uh, starting last December and ended up in Grenada in January. When we got to Grenada, there were things that we had to admit about sailing. So we put our sailboat up for sale. But why would we do this? We needed more financial security with being able to travel the way we wanted to and sailing wasn't going to give us that. With owning an RV or fifth wheel, Katie and I figure that that's a little bit more financial stability that we can get from that that sailing couldn't give us. We feel that RV life can give us a little bit more stability with working at home and working on our art store, Framed Art Box, as well as giving myself the opportunity to go do guest spots tattooing around the country. Oh. <laughs> Letting us still have the freedom that we really did enjoy sailing, we feel we could do the same roaming through North America. Well, we've been waiting for the boat to sell. Which has been eight months so far. Eight months. During that time, we've been couch surfing, <laughs> living off a of family. <laughs> Thank you, family. We found out the truth of how much our friends and family love us. Both. Both. <laughs> Which has all been great. And not so great. So our transportation is limited and we are relying on our sweet Chevrolet legs. <laughs> Redo it too silly? No. Okay. <laughs> so this means that errands take a lot longer. Going to the bank. Where else do we go? Going to the bank, getting donuts in the grocery store because realistically there's only three things we do. <laughs> But going to the grocery store is a completely different experience when you need to carry 50 pounds of groceries on your back all the way home. You definitely think twice about getting that uh, pint of ice cream. On the bright side, all of this walking is great exercise. I don't know how to walk, dude. It gives Brian and I a couple hours to talk and share stories and just spend time with each other without the distractions of phones and movies and whatnot. Just call it an adventure and it feels way better. That's what I've learned. It's not an errand, it's an adventure because you don't know what's going to happen when you need to walk. So you may be thinking, why don't you just rent a car? Why are you walking everywhere? It's expensive. <laughs> I don't know. You guys have rented a car lately, but it is bananas expensive. We did rent quite a few cars in Europe for I think about 15 US dollars in Greece after taxes and all the fees and everything. As you know, that is very different in the States. You know what I need to say? My brain just doesn't. We also have the financial burden of having our boat on the hard at the moment on land that we are still paying rent for. And it is difficult paying for something that you're not enjoying and having fun with. 
since we've been on land, I've had the opportunity to do some tattoos and make a little bit of money. Uh, framed art box has given us a little bit. All of that's helped us pay for the boat on the dry right now. But not knowing how long, it's kind of a killer. Make sure to comment below to let us know if you think it would be difficult to take a step backwards in life. It's been not so great for a couple of reasons. I understand how much Brian loves sailing and living on Naughty Nature, our sailboat. Because he chose to get off the boat with me as opposed to staying where he's learned to love that lifestyle so much. Other relationships are being looked at during this time as well. Spending so much time with friends and family has been incredible after being on the boat and not seeing too many people for so long. Um, for someone like Brian who isn't comfortable taking handouts, it's taking its toll on his ego. At times it feels like we're imposing on those who have graciously opened their homes to us. You know, once you kind of grow up and get out of your parents' house and make your own way for so long, Taking this giant step backwards to be able to, to get what we want takes a little bit of getting rid of some of your pride. Coming from a working man's background where I've supported myself forever, created my own business, you know, tattooing for, you know, the past decade and not letting anybody help me and always trying to help others when I could takes a little bit of getting used to, I'll tell you that think I've ever really minded taking the risk, you know, to find some type of happiness, you know, and I think it's taken me quite a while to ultimately figure out what it is. You know, sailing was one of those tries. Now it's going to be RV life. You know, once you kind of set your feet financially, you know, you never really try and look back and you never take that step backwards. But sometimes you got to. <laughs> Can't take him back to that. I could take this one. <laughs> and put it there. Yeah. How ready do you think we are for our V life? I think we're very ready. Yeah, why? I think for a couple of reasons. We found out what we really liked about sailing and living on a boat. And I think some of those things are very similar to RV life. You and I love live, love live, and laugh. We both love living in a smaller space. True. We both love living with less, just fewer things. It's amazing how weird it is to be in a house that takes you 30 seconds to walk from <laughs> one end to the other. So many forks. We had forks. So many plates. We had four. So many blankets and pillows and everything. And it's great and they are luxuries and I'm not asking anyone to get rid of them. But for us, we had four <laughs> forks and four spoons and we didn't use two of them most days. <laughs> more stuff, more storage, more cleaning. I just don't want that. So those are things that RV life will give us. We also loved moving around a lot and waking up to a new neighborhood and exploring the stores in the area. It was really hard to get used to in the beginning. I found it stressful, but after about a half year living on the boat, I grew to love it. Yeah, it was a little difficult, but you realize that you will eventually find everything you need. We understand things will break on the RV. They did on the sailboat as well. But when you're in an RV, you can park. <laughs> We will also be in North America where we understand English. I don't know Greek. I don't know French. Those were difficult hurdles to cross, especially in Greece when nothing's in English. Ordering ordering oh, parts yeah. was was a whole new adventure when we were on the sailboat trying to get, you know, something small or a, a fuse, a certain type of fuse for the boat. Um, on an RV, I imagine this is going to be a lot easier. But in Europe, we had to wait like three months sometimes and pay VAT tax and pay fees and... Yeah, it was a whole different experience. It was a whole so. different experience. <laughs> but because, yeah. because of that, I really think that I think we're ready. I think yeah. I don't think that this is going to be anywhere near that big of a deal. Yeah, and we're used to filling gray tanks and black tanks and yeah. stuff like like a lot of the difficult things we've seen people online struggle with. 
we've already been through that struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the mechanics of the RV will be a little different, and I look forward to learning that. And I want to learn more about the RV, which I'm excited about. Yeah, yeah. I think the I think the difficulties with RV life that'll be different is we're not making our own water, and we're going to need more gas instead of just relying on the wind to get us from point A to point B. But in the same respects, we don't have to worry about weather conditions completely shutting us down or making us hide for a month. Yeah, you know, so. like as, as often. We will as still often. keep an eye on the weather, but um, it won't be as dramatic. Yeah, it will be as dramatic and life-threatening <laughs> in a way. Yeah. One more thing. What's that? What are you most looking forward to about RV life? not being in a house. <laughs> so make sure you uh, subscribe and like our channel, help us out. And if you got any comments below, leave them. At the same time, ready? <laughs>